In the book entitled The Guru Papers, Masks of Authoritarian Power, authors Joel Kramer and Diana Alstad express that authoritarian control, which once held societies together, is now at the core of personal, social, and planetary problems. They examine why people give up power, why others abuse it, and how this is a key factor in social disintegration. Because Joel and Diana's book is relevant for understanding guru-disciple dynamics and to the upheaval in Anusara Yoga, I invited them here to join us. So a lot of American, uh, American spiritual leaders call themselves spiritual teachers because they say they're not more spiritual than others, but they're further along on the path and they know more and they're more experienced, but they're not perfect. So most American leaders of spiritual groups don't call themselves gurus. So we're not saying there shouldn't be teachers. We're saying there shouldn't be authoritarian teachers and authoritarian spirituality that's in, based on unchallengeability and infallibility. You can't just surrender to someone and believe they have the whole scoop on everything. So it's, it's, that's an old model that keeps people childish. And we're trying to move out of adolescence. Well, there's a very common formula used where people you know, protect uh, whatever beliefs they have. And the formula, and you can see it happening in the Anasara community, it happens in all communities. They say, uh, the teachings are pure. It was the teacher that was corrupt. Mm. And you ask, how do you build self-trust up? You build self-trust by beginning to examine how it is you gave your power away, beginning to examine all of the things that you hold to be self-evident as up for questioning. One of the things they're going through is feeling disillusioned and betrayed. It's very, very important to understand what went wrong and not just focus on healing and feeling good right away and time will pass, the grief will pass. The more you understand what went wrong, what, what were the illusions that you had that you are now disillusioned from? Because if you didn't have illusions before, you wouldn't be disillusioned now. So look at the nature mm -hmm. of those illusions. And often they were your most cherished beliefs and values. Um, and, and that's why what we're doing in the book is trying to um, decode how, why things fall apart in, in the ideology, what's wrong with the values, what's wrong with the worldview, what, why, does it, why does it go awry? Because then the healing can be more fast and more complete. Is the solution in yoga?